So guys, here we have a flounder, the European flounder. So look at it, this one. This is bigger than the first one that I caught here. And um, this is a rig that I was using. So um, we shiny stuff, some beads and some salted lugworm. Look at his pale, just perfectly white belly. And um, so that's a flounder. And apparently, well, they, yeah, they're pretty rough. Uh, along this line which can help you distinguish them from place and other species look at that for a beautiful big flounder right guys so my dad is fishing with feathers and look what he caught look at this big seed that is huge then there's a smaller one there you go we'll be releasing this small one then there's pollock so guys, I just pulled out one of my traps, and I caught two rocklings, and this one is big, like he is massive. And he's actually got big teeth, look at that, look at that for three bearded rockling. That's big, proper big, and um, whoa, he is feisty. And he's actually got sharp teeth, like this, well, it's a predator sort of scavenger, you know. Look at his teeth. Let me show you that in detail. Oh, he is feisty, and these guys will scavenge, they will eat, um, you know, mackerel, they'll scavenge, they'll eat worms, they'll basically eat everything, they'll eat, you know, small crustaceans and everything, and, um, look at that for three bearded rock things, so red and everything. So, yeah, this is what I caught in my trap, and look at this fin, look at that, it's really weird for a fin that there. So yeah, that's a massive three bearded rockling. So guys, here we have the flounder that I caught earlier this day. So it's cooked and we cooked it with lemon and butter. So um, I'll be trying it again. I just had a small, a very, very small bit right now, but I have a bigger bit and tell you guys exactly what the flavors of this freshly caught flounder taste like. So, um, I tasted a bit of the flounder, as you may notice, and, um, it's actually, it's, it's quite, you can't really compare it to any other fish, really. It's not like mackerel, it's not oily, it's very fine, it's a very fine meat, and, um, so I just said, it, I cooked it with butter, and the butter just gives that richness and sweetness into that meat, and the flesh itself is, it's not flaky, but it's quite, um, how would I say, not really tender, but it just falls apart. And the skin is crispy. It's actually very thin. It's not It's not thick. It has no scales. Doesn't have that many bones. And the lemon just doesn't make it too sweet, but it's just perfect. It's on spot. And um, I'd really recommend this to anyone who likes fish or just eating in general. So guys, here is my seeth that I caught earlier. Well, my dad caught it, but it has been cooked for about 15 minutes till perfection. And I'll be telling you guys what seeth tastes like. So we put some ginger on it and some salt, a few other ingredients, which I forgot. And it tastes very good, but um, I have another bite just to tell you in detail what it tastes like. So actually the seeth um, gets a lot of richness from the ginger, that's the actual main taste with the salt and the ginger, and um, it's very tender and it falls apart, it kind of melts, but it does have quite a lot of spines like this, they're pretty sharp, and um, so overall I think seeth is a very good fish to eat, and um, uh, if you cook it like this with ginger it actually tastes very good. Because last time I had it in one of my very old videos, it wasn't that good on its own. But with this ginger and salt, it just gives it an extra boost of flavor. So here's the rockling that I caught earlier today. So I'll be telling you guys in, f in detail the flavor of this fish. So this fish is not sold in any restaurants at all. Three bearded rockling. Um, isn't, you know, eaten as widely or anything. So the only way, if you want to eat some rockling, is you're gonna have to catch it yourself. This was quite a big individual, and, um, these are actually predatory fish, or, uh, also scavengers, but 
Yeah, that's some rockling that I caught in my trap, which I'll be trying to eat. So rockling of the three fish uh, today, which was um, three bearded rockling, seeth and uh, European flounder. Rockling is the meatiest of them all, so it's quite, um, it's quite, you know, robust. And uh, with the ginger, it gives it quite a kick, you know, and um, it's quite different. It's a lot more like seeth. It's quite similar. It's nothing like flounder, which literally falls apart in your mouth. This is more, you know, it's quite meaty and um, it's quite flavorful. It's not too rich. It's not. It's not the best fish ever, but it's good to eat, and um, it was fun catching it, and it's fun to eat it, because it's nice.